Minecraft adds an incredible array of blocks to create almost anything that you can imagine. And over the past number of years, I've grown my build style and love of building large builds. But what would happen if I gave myself one month and one Minecraft chunk to daily challenge my build style and expand my building skills? It's time to find out in this year's Minecraft Vlogmas Challenge. Happy December 1st, friends. I'm Callie, and today we're tackling our first one chunk challenge. Every day I will be giving myself a prompt that I must build, and if you'd like to challenge me, feel free to drop a prompt in the comments below. I might just choose your prompt in my next video. And while you're down there, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more content. Today's prompt is Starter House. I know, we're starting off easy, but what better way to start a challenge than to work on my one chunk starter house design? The number one rule for this build is it must have all the necessities. This includes a place for crops, animals, and a full interior. With this rule in mind, I have decided to go for a redesign of a build that I recently did. Let's see if this works. One chunk is a whole lot smaller than I am used to working with. I have placed a few blocks over here with some ideas for the build. So I want a bit of a foundation. I'm thinking some stone, some cobblestone, and some andesite. We gotta remember this is a starter house and so you're gonna want some starter friendly materials for building it. For the main part of the house, I'm thinking we're going to go with a little bit of oak wood and some other brown varieties. I typically like spruce or dark oak, but guys, I'm trying to challenge myself, so we're going to use some blocks that I normally wouldn't use and see if we can't come up with something that looks really good. Then talking about roof, I am thinking we could go simple where we have like polished andesite to tie the foundation and the roof together and then maybe fill it in with some dark oak blocks or we could go and bring in a little bit of color. So there's two color palettes here that I got. We could do an orange palette, but I'm almost wondering if it's just too close to the browns here. Or we could go with a purple palette with some amethyst and some cherry wood unstripped, some purple wool and some blue terracotta. I don't know what's gonna turn out like, but these are the build palettes I'm currently working with and we'll see what we like about it. We are starting with the foundation here, trying to lay out the general shape. And yes, this is such a smaller area than I am used to working with. So we did start off too large in the beginning as per usual. If you're watching my hardcore world, this is where I drew the inspiration for for this build. It is very similar to one of the villager houses that I created in the last episode. So go and make sure you check out that video as well to see some of the other buildings that I created there. Now, as I was putting in the wall blocks with all the browns of the oak and trying to put in the terracotta and the brown wool, it was not looking good. I knew something was off. I knew it wasn't looking good, but I decided to power through anyways and start putting the roof line in. But eventually I figured it out. And here is in-game Callie to tell you what happened. Well, all that needed was a simple change of wood. The jungle wood pairs much better with the terracotta and even the brown wool. Obviously way more details are needed, but I do like the color scheme at least a whole lot better. With the build palette finally figured out, it was time to finish off those details of the exterior of our starter house. We of course needed to make sure that we had both an animal pen and a vegetable field, and I couldn't forget the overgrown vibe we were looking for. Overall, I'm really happy with how the outside of our build came together but we need to do the interior. We need a floor in here. Let's go for a darker floor than what the walls currently are. And I'm wondering, do we do it randomly around like this? That's not too bad. Now we need to hide this roof line cause that is not looking nice at all. Maybe we just go jungle slabs. Is this a bottom slab? It is. So we could put our lantern right up there. Now we need some chests in here and I think right in this space would be perfect. So instead of like, you know, your normal chest room where you have all these chests sitting out like that, what if we mix it up a bit? I think the other thing to try would be to grab maybe this jungle trap door and you have a little bit of extra space up there if you want. 
Now, of course, we need a bed as well. And what happens if we just put it like right here? The back wall doesn't look super nice. What happens? Okay, wait, wait, wait. If we actually just put all chests right there. So this whole wall is now a row of barrels. And then what if we took down some of this and just had that side? And then here we put our furnaces. That could work. I know everything's just like thrown in here. It's not a lot of space to work with. We could have a little bit of a bush inside of here. And then we still have this corner. And normally I'd be like, oh, let's add a fireplace, but I don't wanna do that today. This could be like a table that we could look outside. So we have chests, which you can't really get through here very well, can you? I do wonder if it would be better to put our blast furnace and our other furnace on this side. That way, at least when you like, you come in from a long, hard day or you have to do crafting, you're not constantly running over your bed. Whereas like the storage is there, but you can be doing your thing here and then dealing with storage. What if we actually made it into almost like a sink? And that's a pretty tight interior, but it works. It has everything you would need for your survival world. You got the crafting table, you got the smeltery, the storage units here, a bed, some water if you ever need to fill bottles or something, and a great little view out the front window. So I think this works and I think it hits all the boxes. And with that, day one of the One Chunk Build Challenge is complete. Don't forget to come back tomorrow to see what else I will build. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.